Well, g'day everyone. Uh, I wanted to talk today about what a Stinger is. Uh, and I thought that I'd mention this because I've, I have recently got a 2ME and I had trouble finding out what they actually are and how to create one. Now, it's actually this. If I switch between me and a video file I've got, you'll see that the Stinger will come in. So that's a stinger that you can see there. Uh, and how you create this, you can use something like Apple Motion or something like that. But I found a site where you can get them or purchase them as video files. And then there's something you can do, which I'll show you a little bit later in this video. But I'll show you the site now where I actually downloaded one. And the good part is it was actually free. So this was the site uh, that I found uh, the free versions of these uh, stingers on uh, and it was just under the store somewhere and, and to be honest I can't remember where I actually found it but it, it was part of this site. I'll leave the link down below anyway and you can have a look. Um, but what it did, it, it uh, there is an area where you get free, I think I clicked in here. And then I found it somewhere through here, which was stingers. There is also uh, stinger transitions that you can click on here as well uh, that you can pay for. The ones that I got, I didn't have to pay for. They were just free off the site, so I've used those. So basically all you do is you uh, download the files uh, from the site. You just have to register, I think, and then you can download them. It sends you a link uh, by email. And then it sends you these whole stack of uh, stingers. I think there was 10 in there that you can use. Uh, and the one I used is uh, this bubbly reveal one uh, that's here. Now you see you also get mob versions and also WebM versions uh, at the same time. Now if you click in here, they give you a few versions of these uh, that you can look at. So if I just open QuickTime and play this, uh, you'll see that it's, it's just there. Uh, now the interesting thing about this though is that at the moment, it's actually just a video file. Now we've got to convert this to still images, so I'll show you how to do that. Now there's a couple of important things that you have to do first. You need to work out the point of transition where it goes between showing the background and also the foreground. Now what I mean by that is if you open this up again in QuickTime. So what you first got to do is you look at the time that the video lasts, which is uh, three seconds, 3.12 seconds. And then you go to a point where the whole screen is covered. And that's what you mark down. So you work out there that it might be uh, one uh, second 15 there. And you write that down. So what you've got to do, and I'll show you why you do this later, you've got to write down the, the length that the video is and also the point where the whole screen is covered. That's the point where you're going to have your transition. Now I'll explain that a little bit later as we go through this. Okay, so how do we now go about uh, changing this so that you're able to use it as individual files? Because at the moment, it's a video file and that won't work if you take it into uh, your ATM software. Uh, it'll, it just won't work. It'll just show as a video. You won't get the uh, stinger actually working. So I'll show you what I had to do. Now this is showing you uh, what I actually did here. I had to open the file up in uh, Final Cut Pro. Now you can use any editor that will uh, enable you to save this as, as sort of still grabs or, or image grabs. Uh, and if, like if I played that at the moment, it would just play as a video, as you can see there. Now, all I had to do in Final Cut, it's very easy, uh, is you just go up to your share, you go here, and inside this, you can share it as an image sequence. If, if you haven't got that showing up, you can just go add destination, and then you'll have image sequence that's there, and you just have to drag it over into here, then it will show up. Now, once you do that and you save it, what this will do, it actually saves it into individual stills, and that's what you can take into your ATM software. So I'll, I've already saved that, but I'll show you then what the next part is. So what I did then was I just saved uh, the image sequence to a folder, and I just called it this Bubbles 4K 25P. I set up a 4K um, timeline in Final Cut. If you open this up now, you'll see that it's got the whole sequence in there as individual frames. All you do is you open up your ATM software, and then you drag that folder up into this area here here into this um, first clip number one. Now these um, clips also come with uh, an audio sound that, with it as well. So th that's included as well. And you just drag the audio sound into this bubbly reveal here. Uh, and make sure then that that just is showing on uh, your media player one there. If you bring that over onto your media player one, then I'll show you how you set this up inside of uh, your switcher to get that to work. So now to make this work at the moment, what you've got to do is you just have to click back on your switcher and 
you'll see that if you go down on the pallets area here onto the stinger here, uh, you just have to say that it's on Media Player One. Now, do you remember before I told you that you had to put the timeline that these clips went for? Well, the one that I ended up using was 2.23 seconds, uh, and it the trigger point was 1.09 seconds. That trigger point is where it's completely black. That is the point where it will go between your foreground and background, so that's the point part where the transparency comes in. So you just put those two figures in, and then when you uh, click on Sting over here and just press the auto button, that's where you get that sting actually to work. Just like that. So it's now switching between uh, me and also this um, uh, the stinger action there as well. So if you have any questions about that, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Just thought I'd share this because, you know, it's quite hard if you haven't had anyone uh, give you instructions or help on how to set this up. So apart from that, everyone, I'll see you in all in the next video. Bye for now.